Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys all know, last Friday was the world premiere of my brand new reality competition show, Instant Influencer. And I just wanted to take a few minutes in the beginning of today's video to say a major, major thank you. I'm filming this on Saturday, which means the show actually came out yesterday and I was literally crying all day long. I was such a huge mess because the reaction and the comments <laughs> literally could not have been more positive and I am so incredibly grateful and I cannot wait for you guys to see the rest of the episodes in the season because honestly they just keep getting better and better and better. Just like last week's premiere, episode two will be uploaded once again this upcoming Friday on my YouTube channel right here at 12 p.m. PST streaming for free. That rhymed. Look at that. Make sure you click the notification bell down below so you don't miss the notification when I upload episode two. All that being said, welcome to today's video. <laughs> Obviously it is Tuesday so unfortunately there is not a new Insta Influencer episode today but I thought it'd be really cool for our videos in between the episodes episodes on Tuesdays to do something in relation to last week's episode. I thought it'd be fun to discuss some comments and some constructive criticism from you guys about the show. Also discussing the elimination, so warning right now, there will be spoilers ahead. If you have not yet watched the episode, make sure you click right up here and go watch it now before watching today's video and just overall spilling some tea about the show and more information that you guys didn't get to see from behind the scenes. In episode one, all the contestants were challenged with making a marketing campaign video around a makeup product that already exists in the industry. A lot of the videos were really, really cool, but one of them that stuck out the most to me was was Kaylin's, and she had a beauty sponge as her item. How to do your full face with one tool and one tool only, the Real Techniques beauty sponge. Of course, we all have a million beauty sponges. We've used them every single day when we're getting ready, but I really liked Kaylin's video because she integrated her personality. She really made me want to buy the product, and she also had a theme for the video, which was using a beauty blender for your full face of makeup. Now, obviously, I'm pretty sure in Kaylin's commercial, she was only talking about her base, but when I was watching her on the judging panel, my gear started turning, and I was like, oh my God, this would kind of be a fun challenge that I haven't really seen many people do. So for today's video, inspired by Miss Kaylin from the show, I wanna grab my beauty sponge that I use on an everyday basis and see if I can do my full face of makeup using only a beauty blender while spilling some tea about the show. Let's get started. All right, you guys, so I went through the comment section on the first episode and went through and screenshotted a ton of different things that I wanna talk about in today's video, but obviously we do have a challenge to do. In Kaylin's video, she used the Real Technique sponge, so in mine, I'm gonna grab my personal favorite, which is from Juno & Co. It's a microfiber one, so it's really kind of like fluffy and just applies everything really, really beautifully. And I'm gonna grab my Tatcha Water Cream, which is my moisturizer, and start off with some skincare using my sponge. I've actually never done this before, but you definitely can. So we're just gonna, I guess, grab some on there and just start, you know, <laughs> applying it to the face. Also, I'm aware that my face looks a little bit crazy right now. I promise, as much as it looks like it, I did not go crazy with the blush. Unfortunately, I fell asleep in the sun a few days ago and I forgot to put on sunblock, which is a major lesson to you guys. Always wear sunscreen and I got very burnt. Oh, Louis, look at how that looks on camera. I have never had a sunburn that hurts this much. It literally was painful just to put on this shirt today for filming this YouTube video. So please do not comment about my foundation matching. Okay, I'm gonna try my best. I've been applying my aloe vera. Just let me be and wear your sunscreen always. The first comment that I wanna address while I'm doing my foundation with my beauty sponge is this one from Z Mystery. And they said, I really appreciate that it's free, especially during these times. Now this comment makes me very, oh, I forgot to color correct. Well, too late now. Now, this comment makes me very, very happy to hear because it was super important to us that everybody was able to, you know, watch the show and enjoy it for free. What's actually crazy though is that we filmed the entire show in January when Corona was not even a thing here in America yet. So our decision to make the show free had literally nothing to do with the pandemic. It was actually a goal of ours from day one. And when we were talking to our production company and our partners for the show, which obviously ended up being YouTube Originals, it was like literally a thing that we negotiated and said, we are not doing this if it's not gonna be free. So we're very grateful that we we were able to make that happen so everybody could access it. And we're even more grateful that it is free during these really, really hard times because everyone's stuck at home. It's fun, enjoyable content. And I know y'all have really important things to spend your money on right now, like bills and staying alive during this awful, awful, awful time. So I will say that I really, really want to continue to do more high production content for free in the future as well. So fingers crossed that we're able to continue to make that happen. The base is looking gorgeous so far. Oh, is that cheating? Did I just cheat? Fix plus. I just sprayed it on my face. I wasn't thinking about it. <laughs> so the base is all on, and now I'm going to go in and start cream contouring. And I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade D. I'm just gonna put this on the back of my hand and blend it in a little bit with the foundation. This next comment that I wanna very quickly talk about is from Lorelei La Framboise. 
La Framboise. La f and she says, is someone gonna tell James that he was meant to be a host? This comment literally, oh, that is not the color that I wanna be using right now. That, that, that's, that's a skin mark! That's a skin mark! Oh my god, what am I, oh my god, are you serious? Oh, come on. Well, okay, this is gonna be a bronzer. I saw this comment so many times on yesterday's video and I'm not gonna go super in depth in this because the whole point of this video is not to compliment me. <laughs> but I wanna say a major, major thank you to the people who noticed this and commented this because it means so much to me. You guys know that I wanted to do something like this for a very, very long time and as excited as I was to get started on set, I was very, very nervous episode one and I don't really get nervous really for anything. Thing. I kind of go into everything like ready to go, but obviously this was such a new experience for me and I was surrounded by industry professionals that were working on the show. So the last thing that I wanted to do was, you know, get on set and embarrass myself and have to redo takes a million times. And of course we still had to redo quite a lot of things and get, you know, good audio clips and video clips and everything. But as we really started getting into filming, even on like day one, I just felt so confident in it and really felt like, like this is what I'm meant to be doing. And if you guys thought I was good in episode one, it literally got way, way, way better by the time of the finale. So this means a lot. Thank you for saying this. Thank you for noticing this. And I definitely want to and have plans to host some other things. <laughs> this tweet is from Aisha and she said, crying, I love them. Hashtag instant influencer with a screenshot of Indigo and Kaylin in the workroom after the elimination. I just wanted to put this in there because first of all, I told y'all that you were going to love the contestants. I'm so, so glad that like literally everybody was obsessed with everybody on the show. All six of them were so much fun. Such a pleasure to work with and be on set with. And all of us are still in a group chat to this day and we talk all the time and I've been so excited about the show. And I have just been really, really itching for all of you guys to get to watch them and to fall in love with your favorites and to follow and support them. Everybody has been like gaining a ridiculous amount of followers on social media since yesterday's premiere, which is so, so cool. Obviously that's the point of the show. But at the end of the day though, you guys as the viewers get to really make the final decision of who, you know, you want to follow and support. So keep loving that. I'm so glad you guys do. Okay, doesn't even look that bad anymore to be honest. Great. And last but not least, before we jump into powder, I'm going to grab the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Clean... Cr oh. The CoverGirl Clean Fresh Cream Blush. I don't really love cream blushes or cream highlighters or liquid highlighters or liquid blushes or really liquid anything. Why would you say that? Like you put me at such a like- This next comment comes from Oliver and he says, this was a great show. Thank you so much. For someone who is personally not really into makeup, I enjoyed it so much. It wasn't too long, it was exciting and the contestants are so talented. True. I wish we could see the contestants talking while the judges deliberate. Thank you for leaving constructive criticism in a really, really cool way. I love reading constructive criticism and seeing what you guys want to see in the show. It was actually kind of weird because we didn't plan on filming anything of the contestants while they were in that like holding room before going back to their video labs, mostly because we didn't really plan for that like to be a full set. So that room literally looked awful on camera. But once we got the footage back of the contestants like talking to each other and like gossiping and talking about the judging and the challenges, we were like, oh, this is gold. Like we have to include this in the show, which is why it ended up being there despite the fact that it looks no, not the best. And we definitely want to do this for season two. And who knows, it might even end up being something that we post like on an Insta Influencer separate channel because that's like a lot of really good side content that I think you guys would love to see as well. So definitely let us know and definitely keep us posted with more constructive criticism and feedback. We love to see it. And we obviously want to make the show the best that it possibly can be. So once again, thank you Oliver for the suggestion. Okay, it is finally time to set this base in place. God bless, I don't want any more creases. So I'm just going to grab my beauty sponge once again and dip right into my translucent setting powder. And we're going to Lock it in. All right, you guys, that is pretty much the base for now, all complete. And of course the next step is going to be brows and eyeshadow. I'm gonna be skipping my brows because I think they look okay. And there's just no way that anything is gonna happen with the brows. I do wanna try to do eyeshadow. I'm going to quickly go to the bathroom and give both of these beauty blenders a quick little cleaning because they're very, very dirty. But I'll be right back, zoomed in to try to create a look. <laughs> Okay, so for eyeshadow today, I do have some cream shadows that I found in my collection. I have never actually used these before. I've never even used a cream eyeshadow, if I'm gonna be honest. I don't have high hopes for this, but <laughs> we're just gonna try it out and see where things go. Okay, so while I'm trying out this eyeshadow, I wanted to talk a little bit about the judges in the episode and what you guys thought about them. Hey. This comment from Amusis says, Paris is Paula Abdul, James is Randy Jackson, and Norvina is Simon Cowell. <laughs> this comment definitely gave me a cute little giggle yesterday because if you're an original American Idol fan, you know, oh geez. Paris obviously came in and was super, super nice to the contestants, which made sense because usually when you're a guest judge on the show, that's like the role that that person fills. And then I obviously as the host was kind of like, I wouldn't say like neutral because I definitely gave quite a lot of criticism and stuff. I tried to match like all of my criticism with a positive as well. So that way the contestants are able to, you know, use that information to their advantage if they make it onto 
to the next challenge. And then obviously Norvina is there and she gave quite a lot of, you know, more serious critiques and there was quite a lot of comments about it. Glossy Fox said, the faces Norvina makes are killing me. Ariana Guzman said, I love Norvina's constructive criticism. She really knows what she's doing. Yes, I would 1000% have to agree. Norvina is one of, you know, my closest friends in the industry, but she's also, you know, the creative director and a leader of a billion dollar makeup brand that all of us know and love. So honestly, for me, it was like a no brainer to ask Norvina to be on the show. Norvina brings so many really, really strong critiques and knowledge to these contestants from what she's learned from working in the industry for the past several years. And it's really, really good. And I love her because she's so brutally honest, but sometimes when you're in this industry, you really need to hear that because it's those comments that can really take you to the next level. If you take in that information and use it to your advantage instead of taking it to heart. This looks terrible. Oh, this is, this is a bad choice. Looks so bad. Oh my god. Okay, you guys, I'm just gonna stop here on the eyeshadow and move on to the rest of the face to finish off this challenge. I knew this is a bad idea. Okay, I called it. There's the footage exists. <laughs> I've never even used a cream eyeshadow, if I'm gonna be honest. I don't have high hopes for this. And it definitely was. I don't think it looks awful, but yeah, I definitely prefer my Morphe brushes <laughs> any day of the week to a beauty blender. All right, you guys, so while we work on finishing up this look and finishing up this challenge, I wanna talk about probably the thing that has been most controversial or commented about since episode one, and that is the elimination. Also, once again, if you have not yet seen the episode, please click right up here because spoiler alerts are coming right now, and I don't wanna ruin it if you guys wanna watch it. Ekaterina says, I am a huge fan of how the elimination is set up. It's not made to embarrass the person that is being sent home. James tells you personally, you two are alone, and he encourages you to keep doing YouTube videos. James, if you read this, you're doing a great, great job. Thank you so much, Ekaterina. Richard Waisha says, the ending is a bit weird and the girl is so emotional, but suddenly having to promote her YouTube channel while she's about to cry. Leah says, everyone's talking about Paris, but James was so nice to Brittany when she was eliminated. I cried, OMG. All right, so I am going to highlight using my Morphe cream highlighting stick in the number effect one. No matter what reality show you're watching, the eliminations are always a little bit controversial because of course everybody has, you know, their different favorites. Everybody has different beliefs as to, you know, who did best in what challenges, who should have went home, who should have stayed, et cetera, et cetera. Originally, we did actually have it planned to do the eliminations kind of in like the typical reality style format where we just tell, you know, the winner and the loser in the judging room. But since this is like a influencer slash like content creation based show, we thought it would be kind of cool to tie in the elimination with that whole theme. And we came up with the idea of doing the video lab elimination. I personally really, really like how they turned out because obviously it's good entertainment and that is the point of creating a show. Also for the point that Ekaterina brought up, which is one, it's much more personal to send somebody home that way because you actually get to sit down and and talk to them face to face, to hold their hand, to hug them, to make sure that they're good, but also to give them constructive criticism and feedback for one last time of what they can do to, you know, better themselves in their career moving forward. Not that it's like embarrassing, but I would prefer to be eliminated in private and not in front of all my castmates who happen to do better that episode, but that I guess is just me because like I don't like that type of confrontation. Um, So I really like the way it worked out. Obviously, yes, Brittany was very, very emotional being sent home. And yeah, sure, I guess it's fair to say that it may have been a little bit awkward to watch Brittany, you know, cry and have to promo herself on camera. But first of all, it's better to promo yourself while crying than not promo yourself at all. And that's the whole point of the show is to give smaller artists platforms that I they really, really deserve it. And we almost wanted to bring it like full circle and tie it back to being an actual influencer and filming a YouTube video. Obviously it's an episode of a show, which is not exactly the same thing, but you guys are used to seeing me at the end of all my videos, sign off and you know, do my little promo and get you guys to follow the other socials. And that's the last thing that you guys get to see of me on all my content. So we thought it'd be really cool to give the artists who do get sent home one last opportunity to shine, to plug themselves and to, you know, make the last impression before going home. All right, you guys, the only thing I'm missing left in this look is going to be the lips. So I'm gonna grab that cream CoverGirl blush once again that I use on my cheeks and just pat a little bit of that on the back of my hand. And I'm going to use my mini beauty blender to finish off this look. I just applied some mascara off camera because let's be real, this look was looking a little bit busted without it. And now that the lips are done, that is this full face using only a beauty blender all complete. You guys, I had so much fun doing this challenge tonight and also addressing some comments and questions that you guys had about the show. I hope I answered some questions and further clarified some things. As much as putting this look together was a little bit of a mess, I honestly don't really think it came out that bad. I am obsessed. I think this looks so beautiful, especially using the cream blush and cream highlighter too. I was not the biggest fan of them, but honestly, I might want to use them a little bit more often. The eyes, on the other hand, <laughs> 
I wanted to try it out, okay? It was definitely a fail, but if any of you guys try out this challenge and do get a successful look, please let me know how it goes. Tweet me a photo. I would love to see it, your guys' work. If you want to see more entertaining and fun makeup content, please check out my brand new show, Insta Influencer, airing right here on my YouTube channel for free. Episode one is live now, and episode two will be out this Friday, only a few days away. Turn on your notification bell, set your alarms, put something in your calendar. You guys are not going to want to miss this one. If you guys enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and show your love and support. Also, please make sure you're thumbsing up the show episodes as well. It really does help out a lot and we really want a season two. And also click that subscribe button down below and come join the sisterhood. We are 18 million sister strong and I'd love to have you join the family. And also click that bell icon so you can notified every time I upload a brand new video. If you'd like to follow me on my makeup journey, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook are all just James Charles. My Snapchat for more behind the scenes stuff is James Charles the next dress after Charles. And if you want to text me right here on my personal phone number for any exclusive updates on merch, videos, photos, and everything else. New episodes as well. My phone number is 310-905-8746. This video is Sister Shadow goes to Sister Delena. Thank you so much, love, for always following and supporting. I love you so, so, so much. If you at home would like to be the next video's Sister Shadow, don't forget to always retweet my video links when they go live on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to tune in to Insta Influencer this Friday. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!